If you want to lose weight, but you don't want to drive yourself crazy like looking up foods and counting calories, then you really have to try intermittent fasting. When people follow an intermittent fasting program, they automatically eat less food and take in less calories, and you don't have to count the calories. By the end of this video, I'm going to map out three incredibly effective intermittent fasting programs that you can follow. Now, if you're like me and you hate counting calories, but you want to lose some weight, intermittent fasting really is a way to go. So what is intermittent fasting? All it means is that you're limiting your calories to a restricted eating window. Okay, for example, the first strategy I want to talk about in this video is called 16-8. What that means is that you fast for 16 hours and then you take in all your calories within an eight hour eating window. Okay, when I follow a 16 8 protocol, I personally like to skip breakfast. So I have my first meal, say around 12 in the afternoon, and then I have my last meal, but by like before eight in the evening. But you can do it the opposite way. Some people love eating breakfast. You can eat breakfast in the morning, and then say have a late lunch, and then fast 16 hours, say in the evening. It works just as well both ways. And one of the reasons why intermittent fasting works so well is that people automatically eat like a lot less food when they restrict the eating windows. That's why you don't have to count calories when you follow an intermittent fasting protocol. You're automatically going to eat less and lose weight. Plus, there's so many other health benefits to being in a fasted state like insulin sensitivity, autophagy, like hormonal changes within the body. Okay. Now, some other protocols within the 16-8 is that don't think you have to dry fast during the 16-hour fasting period. You definitely can take in anything that has no calories. Like, for example, you can have black coffee in the morning. You just can't put sugar and milk in it. You can have green tea. You can have herbal teas. You can drink like mineral water. Like I, I recommend people drink at least half their weight in ounces of water every single day. And I personally like mineral water because it you know, has some electrolytes in it, has a little bit of sodium, is somewhat pretty much high in magnesium. So 16-8 is a great protocol for intermittent fasting. And just keep in mind though, it should be done intermittently. That's the, that's the definition of, of intermittent fasting. Don't do it every single day. Okay, do it once, twice, three times per week. It's because it's good to cycle your calories. So there's something called the metabolic effect of of your metabolism slowing down when you restrict calories for too long and lose weight. So by having some intermittent fasting days, when you're like reducing your calories without counting calories, right, and then eating normally the next day, it keeps the metabolism up and it also helps you lose, lose weight. weight. Now, the second intermittent fasting strategy is called a 24-hour fast. There was a real popular book years ago. This is when I started intermittent fasting, like say over 12 years ago. It was called Eat, Stop Eating. It's a really simple program. What's so great about the a 24-hour fast is that you can just do it once a week and it's incredibly effective. You know, it's a little bit more aggressive than a 16-day protocol, but it works so well. Just think, when you don't eat one day a week, for 24 hours. You can still drink your coffee, have your herbal teas, your mineral water, anything with no calories. Just think about the amount of calories you just eliminated in that day. So you typically eat 3,000 calories in a day. You just eliminated 3,000 calories, right? There's 3,500 calories to a pound. You pretty much lost a pound already just for not eating one day. And this Eat Stop Eating program, a lot of people like to do it twice a week. Just think if you can fast for 24 hours twice a week and then eat normally through the other five days of the week, just think you just eliminated say five, six, seven thousand calories from your diet. You can put, you know theoretically lose two pounds per week consistently by just fasting for 24 hours twice a week without counting calories. Now the third strategy is called the one meal a day diet, OMAD, O-M-A-D. Now this strategy is a little similar to a 24 hour fast, but it's a little bit easier to do in my opinion. What you pretty much do is that you fast for 22 hours and then you take in all your calories just in a two hour eating window. So you have one like really big meal for the day. Incredibly effective for reducing calories. Just think how much food can you eat if you're only giving yourself a two hour eating window. Amazing for cutting calories, once again, without counting calories. See, I personally use this strategy on Sundays. 
you know, actually my, my brother comes over, my parents come over every Sunday. We have a nice big like feasting meal, like a two or three hour say eating window. I really love it. And also like what I do every single Sunday, I always take a two hour fasted walk in the morning, have a big cup of black coffee. I drink a bottle of Pellegrino. I can take a nice two hour fasted walk. I'm actually recording this video right after my fasted walk. And then once my parents and my brother come to, comes over, I'm going to break my fast with a nice two hour feast. Incredible way to lose weight. Now I've been intermittent fasting for over 10 years, 10, 12 years now, me and my wife both. And I've tried so many different protocols and I actually use all three of these protocols interchangeably, you know, all the time. For example, say you say Monday tomorrow, I may wake up and do 16, eight, say for the whole day. But then Tuesday, I may just eat my normal three meals a day. Say Wednesday, maybe I'll do another all mad day, taking all my calories, say just in the two hour eating window. Thursday, I may go back just eating three meals a day, normal again. Friday, I might do a 24 hour fast, right? Saturday, back to 16, eight, Sunday, all mad. You can interchange all these strategies. They work so well. It's an amazing way to actually keep your weight at an optimal level without having to count calories and drive, drive yourself crazy, okay? Another thing I like to do is I personally like to take diet breaks from fasting every few weeks anyway, due to that metabolic effect. Like, you know, it's not good to restrict calories for long extended periods of time. You can do it for a few weeks. Obviously, it's a great way to lose weight to begin a calorie deficit. But over time, it's not good to restrict too long in my opinion. So every four, five, six weeks, I like to take a week off where I just eat normally you know, for an entire week. I, I, I feel like I'm boosting up my metabolism, increasing my calorie. Then I, I kind of hit the gym kind of hard and try to muscle up for that week. And I'm also going to link up a whole bunch of other videos I did on intermittent fasting, on OMAD, on one meal a day eating. Check out the videos. You're really going to find them helpful.